In today's video, I'll be showing you how to blur parts of your screen for privacy. To blur out parts of your screen, you'll need an editing app like LumaFusion that lets you work with multiple video layers. You need one layer for each section you want to blur. Add your footage to the main timeline and then duplicate it. And your duplicate will be placed in the first video track above the main timeline. Make sure that your duplicate track extends to the end of your video. If you don't, then any information you try to hide will become visible. Also, you need to remove any parts where the screen moves if you don't want to use keyframes. Just split your clips at that location and delete the parts in the middle. Now, as you can see, we go from this screen to this screen without any movement, meaning that I can apply the blur. Double tap on the top clip. And then I'll select frame and fit and tap on cropping. I'll use the top and bottom crop sliders to crop the video to cover up the area that I want to hide. I'd like to hide the top part of the conversation, but keep watching the video and you'll see why that won't be possible. If I extend the crop down to the bottom of the keyboard, then tap on color and effects, I'll tap on the teardrop and tap on Gaussian 100 to blur out that section. This tutorial shows you the new way to save photos quickly in messages using iOS 15. With this much of the screen covered up, if I play the video, you'll notice that you won't be able to see the photo that I'm about to receive. Since this is the point of the tutorial clip, I'll need to fix this by adjusting the crop. There's the photo. So I'll tap on cropping once more and adjust the crop so that only the top part of the screen covered up and you can see that I've received a photo with the share icon that I'm talking about in this video. Only the top part of the screen is blurred out. Notice if I scrub ahead I show you that the photo has been saved to my camera roll. First I'll extend the top clip out to the end of the video and then scrub back so that I can cover up all the photos in my camera roll except for the one that I want you to see. In order to do this I need to select this clip once more and make another duplicate. I said you need one layer for each section that you want to blur. I'll double tap on my new duplicate to open the clip editor. Because the blur has already been applied and it's already at 100%, all I need to do is select cropping and change the crop position for this new layer. I'll move it from the top to the bottom. Notice that when you apply a blur to any video, it applies it to the whole layer. If I come out of the clip editor here and go back into the main timeline, you can see to this. That's why you need to crop your duplicate layers so that you can cover only the section that you want to hide. Here as I'm playing the video in the main timeline, you'll see that the entire top part of the screen is covered up. I want you to be able to see the photo that I receive, but not who the message is from. Just delete the layer and reduplicate it at the appropriate position. Tap the duplicate icon once more, and I'm going to scrub ahead to the position where I receive the photo, and then I tap on the icon that lets you see my photo roll. There's nothing that I want to hide here, but for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm going to hide all the photos because this is actually going to take two more layers to do. So I'm going to split the top layer here and I will change the crop location by opening the clip editor, selecting frame and fit and tapping on the cropping section. I will move the crop from the top of the screen to the bottom because this is a new layer. Notice that the top of the screen is blurred out and I want to blur out these photos because the only photo that I want you to see is the one that I received. I will have to make another duplicate of the layer to blur out the photo underneath the one that I just received. This is because you can only crop video in a square. As of the recording of this video, LumaFusion has no masking capability. However, you can create custom masks. So I'm going to Adjust the crop one more time. To cover this photo here. So that the only photo visible is going to be the one that I just received. Let's take a look at the entire video. You can see as the video ends that both the top of the screen and the photos from my photo roll are blurred out. Once all your duplicate clips are in place, don't change the playback speed of the video in any way. 
that is, speed it up or slow it down. This is because doing so, although you can, may affect the placement of your blurred sections. Meaning that once you speed it up or slow it down, after you play the video back, you may need to make adjustments to your blurred sections. If you need to adjust the speed of a blurred section, render the video out, place it into a new project, this will leave your blurred sections intact, and then once your video is in a new project, you'll be able to speed up or slow down the blurred section if you like. Notice as we come to the end of the video, the only photo visible is the one I want you to see.